in Nork at the press conference leading up to the Adam fight. Can you talk about what went wrong there? Well, um, honestly, you know, um, Adam he's very fast, you know, and uh, um, it was like I was fighting two guys that night, the referee and Adam you know, because the referee wouldn't let me hustle, you know. That's what I like to do, hustle, you know, and, uh, you know, but you have to take your hat off to Adam and wish him the best luck in the future and hope he does all right against Disco. Yeah. Uh, if he runs and tips and runs, you never know, you know. But, um, you know, he's a great fighter. It was great to fight him, but, you know, I can't close with no cigar, like, as, as they say. But, uh, you know, this fight here, you know, this is uh, my third Polish guy. I fought Andrew Galata. Close no cigar there either, but, you know, um, I have a wee leprechaun uh, friend, um, uh, Tommy White, and uh, he has a lot of magic, you know, and he says, you know, when you fight the third, Polish guy, it's about time you win, you know, so a few tricks up my sleeve, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Sean Scully for giving me the dream, telling me to believe in my dream, and Jerry Quinn, my manager, to give me the opportunity, yeah, this is going to be a great night, and uh, I love the sport of boxing, there's 12 rounds, there's two big guys in the ring, I come to fight, you know, I, I train with Rodman Shabula, he's a fitness coach, he trained me before the Tyson fight, and I'm benching 425 pounds, I feel real strong, Focus, you know, with Goody Pacinelli. Going to go to um, Armo Norik, you know, the the McLaughlin brothers in New York, you know, the the, the saw me off with um, back with Jerry Quinn there, and, you know, play I didn't win that fight, you know, uh, I didn't win um, against um, Adam. I fought in England, you know, uh, I proved that I have the punch and power. I, I knocked them. Um, a uh, guy over out over there that was Commonwealth champ uh, and former British and former European champion, uh, Matt Scadden. You know, you can talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. And, uh, you know, and like I said, the fireworks are going to happen um, the July 29th. This, this happened July uh, 4th in Boston and probably all over America because Independence Day. But I'm saving them for July 29th. I want to win that battle so my kids can look up at the belt and especially I paint them in my daughter's room, a new house, and uh, I'm going to put it up uh, for Grania. That means grace. And uh, my son, Quivine, is Kevin and Iris. You know, uh, I'm fighting uh, for them, and my wife, and for. Uh, you know, I believe in myself. I, I have what it takes to make it. You know, these fights you have to step up on the plate. These fights are the fights that could get you in the door to fight a bigger fight. And this is the fight that, that I have to win because, you know, I'm looking forward to it. And and, and I hope I give the the people uh, that love boxing the satisfaction. Thank you. Uh, at, at the if you don't mind, at the uh, post fight, Adamic, you may mention that you would you would talk to your family. And, and, and possibly uh, retire. Were those discussions ever? Did they ever take oh, place? Definitely. You know, the, you know, the, there is all this that. You know, I'm 38 years old, and uh, you know, after the Adam fight, I, I didn't get, you know, like feel like I felt like you know, you should have retired because you know, I two beautiful kids, lovely wife, and uh, you know, I just thought about it. You know, and I, you know, people were saying, you know. You know, look at George Foreman, you know, 43, he fought uh, Van der Holyfield, he lost, and two years later he went on to fight um, Michael Moore, and he knocked Michael Moore out. That's the last thing that leaves you is the punching power, and uh, I believe I have what it takes. You know, I could be the Cinderella man of boxing. You know, I just get the opportunity, I said, well, wherever there's an opportunity, there's a chance, and this is a great opportunity. It's great that um, Morris Watts, he's 24-0, you know, 12 knockouts, he has a great record, you know, but I got more knockouts than he has wins, and I believe I have the power to believe people um, to see um, that I can be a world champion. Just get me in one of them political brothers and, uh, you know, I'll show them, show the world that a real heavyweight, what a real heavyweight can do. You know, um, if I have to take a fight with um, Tyson Fury beforehand, as, uh, you know, to prove to the world that I am the next contender. I'm not a pretender, I'm a contender, remember that, so the 29th of July, the fireworks are going to go in uh, Mohegan Sun, people are going to uh, get value for the money, they're going to love the night, and it's going to be exciting, it ain't going 12 rounds, watch out. Marius Bach is taking on Kevin McBride, uh, can you talk about how training camp's been going for this fight? Yeah, actually, we go, 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 we
technician to... He's been working very hard for about three months. Check technician to... Ciężki w treningu, jestem bardzo dobrze przygotowany do tego. Can you talk about the difference in trainers, uh, their styles? Last time you had Michael Moore, this time you had Mr. De Leon. Can you talk about the difference from camp to camp? So, nie więcej są podobne, podobny styl mają, podobny styl. Chcą, żebym boksował podobnym, podobnym, podobnym stylem. So they, um... They work very similar. Uh, they want him to, to, to fight in the same style, so he didn't have to change his style. Zwracają mu uwagę na, na te same wiesz, na te same elementy, na, na którym, e, które robi błędy. Yeah, uh, uh, they, they work with the same techniques, or you know, nothing. Everything, basically, everything's been the same. Um, we work on uh, the same techniques. No, it's it's appropriate. Um, he did mention that uh, he wants you to be more aggressive in the ring. Do you think that we'll see that against McBride? Myślę, że tak. Myślę, że 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 z Kevinem muszę muszę agresywnie walczyć. Uh, I'll make the assumption that you saw McBride's last fight against the Dominic. Uh, how do you think McBride performed? Is there anything specific from that fight you think you can exploit? Wiesz co, no, oglądałem, byłem na żywo, oglądałem na żywo tą, tą walkę. Mark Bright jest na pewno ciężkim zawodnikiem, widać po, po jego wyglądzie, jest, jest wysoki, jest ciężki. I to, tak jak mówię, że to jest mój e, sprawdzian, zobaczymy, zobaczymy na co tak naprawdę stać Marusia. Best of luck to you. Can you just talk about Bach a little bit? Uh, he worked with Michael Moore last time. And, uh, well, let's just start with this. How do you prepare him for a fight against a guy like McBride? Well, first, it, 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 you know, people maybe think it's hard. I think okay. I think the most hard, especially with a person like him, that he know what to take about boxing. You know, so and it's easy to work with a guy that before you go and wake him up, he's ready. You know, waking me up. To go to run, to come to the gym, his before anybody, his coach. That's what I've taken, you know, that I see his responsibility and help me to make this camp easy, but at the same time long, because first time meeting each other, we don't know. I gotta see how his style, you know, so now to change all the strategy, you know, how we're gonna prepare that to fight right. Mark Bright, you know, and working in his style, change a little bit of American, Puerto Rican style. It take a long, but you know what? The good thing is so easy working with him. You know, it's beautiful. He's ready. You know, he's got, people are gonna see changes. Uh, I know it's gonna be, it's not gonna be in the first day, but I know people are gonna see something different. And to that point, uh, when I talked to Michael Moore, he was trying to get him to move a little bit, be a little bit more athletic, not so straight up right in front of you. Do you notice that as well? Is that something you want him to do? Move. Be more athletic, Anything. generally speaking. Yeah. He he got everything, man. He's a he's, he's a tough kid. Uh, I think he's the tall end the division right now. Um, in the way that he works, and I see, I know Michael Moore, you know. So I love I love him when he came from the from, from the light heavyweight with one of the greater, you know, coaches, you know, Manuel Stewart. I see him grow up, and I see. Um, as a heavyweight, but I know what he was looking on him, but I think Bach needs something too. Not only to Bach, to be more aggressive, because he was too timid, that I believe Mr. Mr. Moore never took that from him. Right. Now that me and him, we sleep in the same room, we talk every day, we watch videos, um, we story everything in boxing, you know what I mean? Every inch inside the ring, you know, so I'm trying to tell him what to do, how the business go, to see 
he could see a different pictures, and that's what makes him better fighter now. That I believe Mr. Moore never did with him. Sit down, and they don't have the communication. They don't got the same language. Now here I got the the, the, the advantage of Mr. Moore that I had Robin working, you know, with some other right Polish fighters. Mr. Mark, the owner, you know, so he, here you know I could talk to him. Uh, the condition coaches speak the same language. That help. That maybe don't help with Mr. Moore. Now. Uh Bach was there uh, ringside, I believe, for McBride's fight against uh, Adamic, his countryman. Was there anything specific from that fight that you guys saw that you think you can exploit uh, next Saturday? Honestly, with you, I don't know if the, 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 the Bach was in that fight. I think it's a question him the for him there. I know was there at that time. <clears throat> you can see I started working with him like a week, maybe 10 weeks ago. So, um, but what I see from McBride, yeah, we got we, 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 we got the medicine. We got the medicine, you know, for that for that disease, you know, that we had in front of us, you know, trying to stop us to move forward and and, and, and reach his goal, my goal, you know, so to have a you know a good heavyweight, solid heavyweight, you know, like Tyson, uh, uh, Lennox Lewis, uh, 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 Barry Holmes, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. That's what we need, you know, a guy to come here and represent us, us country now here in the United States, you know, so but we don't have nobody, you know, here, so I think Vac would be the person who could stay here, and God bless him, he get the resident and stay here working hard, and, and he represent the United States and bring those titles back to the United States.